All right, what is up, guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you the fastest and best way to get your Torling Seeker rep up. Now, currently, if there is a Dark Moon Fair up, I highly recommend to go get the Wee Buff. Basically, you ride a carousel and you get a 10% extra experience and gain uh, on rep. Uh, all it takes is about five or six minutes riding the carousel. And you get a one hour buff with a 10% reputation and experience gain. You can also buy a Dark Moon Fair hat as well. So if you do die, you don't have to go back. But that costs about 10 tickets, which you can probably get uh, between 10 to 15 within 30 to 40 minutes. But the Dark Moon Fair is only once a month uh, from the first Sunday to the very end of that week. Also, you want to keep in mind, like currently right now, the WoW 15th anniversary, you do get a... A little present in your mailbox once you open it you'll get like a quest some time war badges and you will also get another little token as uh, blizzard gives us and it gives us an extra 10 percent 15 percent um reputation and experience gain so if you were to have this on the same day as the dark moon fair that would be 25 percent guys so keep that in mind and make sure you do that before you move on with the video. If, this, if none of those are up, just do whatever you can do right now currently. So first thing you are, you're going to want to do is make sure you do any quest that the Torling Seekers have. And the reason for that is going to help you skip too friendly. And once you get done with those quests, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the auction house. Now, once you get to the auction house, you're going to want to get one of the contracts for the Torling Seekers. Uh, it's going to be very simple just go to your mailbox grab it and it's a seven day uh cooldown once you use it uh you can't you can't remove it i think uh if you use another contract so just remember that um but if you're going to do this just make sure you take advantage of everything with world quest because now anytime you do a world quest you will get 10 percent uh 10 more rep so obviously um having that we buff and the 15th anniversary event buff that's 25 so now you really are able to catch up and take advantage of all of this so you're going to want to do all the world quests and also you're going to want to make sure you do the emissaries as well so all of this in total you, you should be getting a lot of rep throughout the week um i know some people don't like doing the world quest but this is definitely one of the fastest ways to to catch up on rep on your ults or anything like that so as long as you're doing it, you should be you should be fine. Also, once you're done with all this, maybe uh, on your first week, you're going to want to go set up your mission board as well. Your mission board helps you get a lot of rep as well, guys. This actually helps out a lot, especially on my alts. Um, I'm able to plow through my rep because of this because sometimes I can't log in. But if it is up, I will log in because you can log in on your phone and do the mission boards on your on your characters, which I recommend using if you don't have it. Uh, but basically, you're going to come here. Um, talk to Nathanos and you'll get a quest. You're going to talk to the lady down at the bottom, learn your first follower, and then you're going to go set up footholds and you'll have a few uh, followers. So as you can see here, I'm showing you here that uh, you're, you're going to want to always try to do your best to roll for the 200 because I went from 200 rep to an extra 100 rep. Now we have 300 rep added on top of that. And with the buff, we got a, a little bit extra more rep and it's pretty nice. But as you can see here, all my champions, I have more and you start to unlock more missions so the next thing you're going to want to do is islands yes now once you're done with all your world quests and you're done with your questing and everything emissaries and there's nothing up left you're going to want to go do your islands now with with the islands they give you see for the blooms it gives you between one to ten um so if you have a group of friends and you can plow through this, you're going to be able to get this really fast. So you're going to basically get 100 C for the blooms and you're going to buy a soggy page. Now this soggy page, uh, once you get it, you got to go turn it into collector Kojo and that's pretty much it. And you'll get 250 rep and you can do this over and over and over again. Uh, I recommend doing this at the very end because um, sometimes it takes a while to get to 100 C for the blooms. Uh, but always make sure you're doing this, especially if you're doing it weekly, you should be able to get at least one page and uh, you should be able to plot this but this is going to be the best way because you can constantly get rep over and over but that is pretty much it for the video guys hope y'all enjoyed it if you are new here please feel free to hit the like button and hit that sub button we also live stream at twitch.tv does the game but yeah, i'm done here guys and i'll catch y'all next one peace